Chapter 9. Two little sailor boys sitting in the sun. One got frizzled up, and then there was one. Don't try to get in. I'm pointing the gun at the door. I'm not the killer. You're trying to make me believe Philip is the killer. Armstrong's dead, his body washed up on the rocks, and Wargrave is sitting in the screening room, dead, again. That's impossible. I swear it. This time he was bludgeoned with the law book he wrote. I think that's how he was originally meant to die. The next rhyme. Two little sailor boys sitting in the sun. One got frizzled up. That means we'll be safe till morning, doesn't it? No one can be frizzled up at night. Stay away from me! If you try to get in, I'll shoot! Two little sailor boys. This just won't do.
sunflowers. Odd. It doesn't seem like this island gets much in the way of sun. Late. I'm sorry, Lombard. You may have left those men to die, but Owen had no right to be your executioner. Stay away from me! If you try to get in, I'll shoot! Two little sailor boys. This just won't do. No tricks, Narakot, or I'll light you up like Guy Fawkes. Lombard, listen to me. Bloor is dead. Armstrong's dead. So is Wargrave. You're next. You have to be. That may be your plan, but it won't work. There's no way Owen can approach you without being seen. Correct? As we're proving right now. So it must be some sort of trap. Already set before you came up here. What sort of trap? The Rhyme. Two little sailor boys sitting in the sun. One got frizzled up. The only thing approaching the sun on this island right now is that fire. Get away from it.
I like a good explosion as much as the next fellow, but not when I'm the target. I owe you an apology, Narakot, and my thanks for saving my life. Believe me, I wasn't sure. You out of everyone had been responsible for the most deaths. Your detecting skills played you false there, old boy. You see, I'm not Philip Lombard. My name is Charles Morley. Got papers to prove it, too. Bill was a friend of mine. He committed suicide a couple of weeks ago. I was at his place when the solicitor Morris rang up. It sounded suspicious. I thought it might have something to do with Phil's death. I wanted to get to the bottom of it, so I came along in his place. Besides, a hundred guineas is a hundred guineas. So you're no murderer? I'll confess I've thought of murdering you more than once the past few days. Listen, Lombard. Uh, Morley. I need to ask you a terrific favor. You've earned the right. Can you play dead for a while? Stay out of sight. Vera must be the killer. The jury's still out as far as I'm concerned. But if Owen thinks you're out of the way, he may try for me. Or Vera, if she's innocent. Which is why I have to get back to the house. Say, old man, if you want to get into the house without making a racket, the window to my bathroom is open. I used it to get out on the balcony and, uh, make sure Vera was safe. Uh-huh. Okay, thanks for the tip. Will you lie low? Come running if there's trouble. It'll be a pleasure to return the favor, old man.